Hello and welcome by another video of the Orchid Saga and today I'm going to do another repotting and I'm going to focus uh, later on this video mainly on my two fender types that I want to put in uh, self-watering but I also am working on this Miltoniopsis and I talked about it in my last uh, video on uh, how I uh, repot Miltoniopsis and I also talked about the blooms that this one has uh, big blooms the other ones were very tiny in comparison to normal sizes of uh, Miltoniopsis blooms so that was a sign for me that this is probably a good plant and I thought I, I wasn't intending to uh, film this but I really have to show you guys what a beautiful root system you see all kinds of new roots um, growing beautiful root tips so yeah this one is, is it's absolutely a good plant and I know the seller I'm not really knowing it but I, uh, I buy plants um, um, more often from them and they are always uh, good plants and this one is a, as well is a beautiful but for Miltoniopsis I think this is probably the one that has the most roots on so far and I have around 19 now of them so there's quite quite a bit but this one is, is really the biggest the most strongest one from them all so I'm very curious to see how this will uh, handle uh, self-watering because it's a completely different setup but it has new growing tips so it's this is a beautiful uh, time for Miltoniopsis to uh, repot so that's uh, everything um, on that side so far goes uh, goes well and I also quickly want to show the media this one was potted in and I'm a huge fan if they do that because they use these pumice stones that I also use so it's kind of used to pumice but also a bit of bark so it's kind of kind of airy and still it uh, retains uh, water quite quite uh, long and quite good so uh, but this it's beautiful um, potting media so they have organic and inorganic and now I will transfer to completely pumice completely inorganic so maybe that helps in the transition I don't know but it's beautiful uh, potting media and thereby if you do it correct you will have beautiful roots on your orchids so I'm going to uh, up on this and we'll uh, blow up <laughs> and I will see you later on in this video so oh, and now we are going to unpot and unpot or repot this uh, Vanda Denisoniana. It's the uh, very small one, but it was uh, only 12 euros. So I thought um, I wasn't sure if I wanted to have this in a basket like my other Vandas and spray it every day or every few days. But I thought it's so small and and teeny tiny <laughs> that i thought it would maybe probably do better in self-watering so therefore i think um i'm just gonna try this i, I not really have a venda in uh, self-watering i have two venda types but yeah because uh, this is a uh, uh, very small one i thought i will give it a try so i'm going to unpot it and we will have a look at the roots it comes out really easily and as you probably can see from there, is it doesn't have many roots. It has a few good roots. I will cut those off if I can find my scissors. Yes, I have it. I'm gonna cut it off. Yeah. And this one is dead. This one is broken, so I'm gonna not completely cut it off and this one can go and this one is broken there so what I do when they are broken I just this is a healthy piece of the root and just before that healthy piece I cut it off so we have a little teeny tiny uh, piece of dead root still on there and that's because to keep the infections bacteria if I uh, if they are there um, outside of the root and prevent it from rotting but um, I'm trying to get off as much bark as I can Yeah. 
but the rest I'm going to leave it because it's very attached to the bark and I don't want to damage the roots too much so I'm now going to spray this with hydrogen peroxide just to be safe um, let me grab it but <coughs> oh here <laughs> here it is I couldn't remember where I did put it but I found it again just gonna spray the roots if there are any uh, slug eggs or something snail eggs I'm try to uh, eliminate them by this and I think yes that's beautiful I think right about my pinky there's a new root starting so it's a beautiful time to give this a new home and I'm gonna leave this um, I'm gonna rest this for a bit I'm gonna put it back here on this blue little container <coughs> and I'm going to grab the next one this is the Venda Thessalata Alba also a candidate for me to uh, give it a go in self-watering and first of all I'm going to try to get it out of this pot oh, that's very easy so I have an extra pot that's always useful and yeah this root is quite damaged I think because they put it in the pot and it's a little bit sad see it's broken there and there but still it greens up that's a good sign and we have a dead piece here that I could cut off but I don't uh, I didn't uh, sterilize my scissors yet so let's do that put it down quite gently let's grab my rubbing alcohol I'm gonna spray it uh, about the sink so my vanas do not get covered in alcohol but I have it now here on my scissors let it evaporate a little bit yes <laughs> that's alcohol <laughs> okay so I'm gonna cut that off cut this one off there's a little dead piece and here there I think that is it. No, not not yet. Almost there. Here's a little piece that could come off. Yes, and we have also a growing root tube here. So also a beautiful uh, time to give it a, a repot. And we uh, shall give it a new home in self-watering. I will clean this up and I will be right back. So, and... Uh, I'm back again. I did change my uh, table a little bit, arrangement, get rid of some stuff. I like to have as much room as I can. I uh, did already prepare my uh, pot and now I'm going to up pot it. What I did forget is uh, grab my water meters, but those are beneath the table, up potting table. They come in these little plastic bags. Two and one. I don't know why this one. But actually, one meter with two bags. So yeah. Okay, but it's here, and I want it in like this around there. So I'm gonna move my arcet a little bit. Here because I'm gonna first gonna put in a layer that will fill a reservoir and then after that I only yeah, then I start putting in my orchid because those roots are not used to the <coughs> new environment yet. So then I put first in a layer of pumice and I think I can use even more because the roots are very small so yeah but I give this a quite a big pot because I uh, don't like to repot them this this that often. 
and I hope this one uh, will get some beautiful big roots that Venice can ha Venice can have. So therefore, I did use quite a big pot, preparing for future. Oh, I think someone is at the door. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that. I'm back. <laughs> but it happens. Um, let's put the orchid into place. I hope you can see it quite a bit. And I'm now slowly going to put in the extra uh, pumice. So I don't break any roots. Well, at least that's the plan, of course. But so far, so good, I think. And now I'm going to put a top layer of um, pebbles. Let's move it so you can see it a little bit better. And yes, my uh, pumice is quite dirty. I know that there are all little pieces of pumice in there, just a bad bag. But um, it's not that uh, small that it will uh, have give those roots any troubles. I'm using this for a while now, but it doesn't look as good. I like it to be a bit more clean, but I have so many of it, so therefore I like to use it. I will flush it out over, uh, over the time, because it does flush out of the pot quite easily. So I will get rid of it, but... But yeah, so that's why the pumice is a little bit dirty. Actually, it's just teeny tiny pumice in there as well. <laughs> and it feels uh, almost like sand, but it's a little bit bigger than sand. And I personally hate that feeling of sand or something on my toes, on my fingers. I'm not a fan of it. I don't know why, but I really, really hate it. <laughs> so yeah, I go to the beats, but that is something I need to... Uh, encounter and uh, the weather and swimming. I love swimming in the sea. That always wins, but yeah, the sand. It's not my favorite feeling, but yeah. So this should, should do the trick. And for all of you guys who think, oh my god, what a big pot is that, uh, will, be the, will it be okay? I think it will be okay. If you are having uh, semi-hydroponic, you're growing your orchids in semi-hydroponic, or uh, self-watering, the pot size doesn't matter that much. Uh, I think it, it really doesn't matter at all. It's just about the uh, how you pot, uh, pot them up, like I did now, the older roots do not bury them in the reservoir. The orchid will choose on its own if it wants to have roots in the reservoir or not. That's a that's a big a big thing to think about. And also, it the pot size doesn't matter because um, it will be wet all the time. And if you are growing uh, in with inorganic media, or, I'm sorry, with a organic media you will have a, a wet dry cycle and to accomplish that uh, it is, is easier with smaller pots than with bigger pots so therefore people always say don't put it in a too big of a pot that's the reason but we don't do that in uh, self-watering we want to have it moist all the time so thereby it doesn't matter how big it is it just needs to adapt to the system and you need to keep an eye on the pH, uh, ppms etc just to uh, get it out of the world there. I, some people will already know it. Some people are even more experienced than I am who follow my channel. But for those who are not uh, ex that experienced yet, I just want to explain that. So this is the first one. I will now grab the, the other one. We will give that a repot. Or ex yeah, a repot as well. And I have here a same sized basket. I have a little bit bigger, I should use this one, uh, bigger uh, Vanda, but it's not, not that big, but it's a bit bigger. And but first of all, I need to get a water meter. 
sometimes I do forget to put them in the pot. It doesn't happen that often anymore. But, whoops, I can get rid of that. But I always need this because this will give me the indication if there is water in the pot or not. If I forget it, I, it's, it's so annoying that I have to repot it because all my orchids have something like this in the pot so I can see if there is water in or not. And if you have a few missing, you always need to feel and see inside the pot if it, there is water. And especially on the ones who are hanging, for my Vanilliopsis, hanging uh, right above the roof, uh, hard to reach, or living on the upper shelf. Yeah, it's kind of handy to have this thing. This will give me the answers that I'm looking for. So therefore, yeah, I always repot if I forget it. But I didn't this time, luckily. Okay. Okay. Once again, a first layer of the pumice. It's a bit on the high side. Um, maybe I have a little bit too much in. We will see. Because this one has roots, a, a, at least a little, a few more roots. I don't like this thing. There's some sort of tag still on here. I will get it get it off. Um, and I leave the basket on because if I need to get it out, I will break all those roots. And then no, that's not not uh, good. I think. And it's plastic, so it can't take the water. It doesn't matter that much. It doesn't matter anything. I think. But if I leave the basket on there. I'm going to fill the pot up with uh, pumice. The only thing that I need to uh, watch very carefully is that the pumice inside the basket is in contact with the pumice outside because otherwise the the evaporation and the uh, water they, they will soak the pumice will soak up the water it has to be in contact with those pumice stones as well otherwise it cannot give the water uh, through on those stones as well if you know what I mean so therefore I need to make sure it's in contact it's like using moss and then some stone and then moss again if the upper section the upper section of moss is not in contact with the, uh, with the um, moss down, down there and you have pebbles who are not at, uh, taking up any water the upper section the moss on top will uh, get dry and stay dry if you don't water it yourself and that's not what I want of course I want to make my life easier so therefore I need to uh, take note of this and I did so I should be fine some pebbles on there. Just a few. And here you go. So that's the last one. For this, I will give a finished shot of both of them. I will put them in a pot and then I will be back with you guys. So, and here they are. This was our first one, a beautiful Miltoniopsis. I'm calling this Skyfall because one of our followers and also a, a Facebook friend that came up with that name and I liked it. So, we call this Skyfall, but it doesn't, she doesn't have her name tag yet. 
because I run out of name tags. Um, probably too much orchids that needed a name tag, but anyhow. Yeah, they are coming uh, with the mail. I expect them in a, a few weeks. I bought them from Amazon, so it does, uh, the, li the delivery does take a little bit, uh, a de-delivery, I should say, does take a little bit longer. But anyhow, Skyfall. The Miltoniopsis with the most beautiful root set uh, system I did uh, have in all those years, probably. Beautiful plant. So it hopes, I hope it will do well for me as well, because the start is very beautiful. As is for these Venas. Yes, they are tiny, but they are beautiful plants. They didn't have many roots, but um, sometimes it's easier to let them adapt to another system when they do have a little few, a little less uh, roots than quite a big root system, because all those roots weren't adapted to the system, but it was branching on a lot of roots, so that's very hopeful. Okay, um, I did put uh, those name tags in and I always put on the date. I did uh, this uh, report on a, the 10th of June. And I probably will post it a little bit later because it's in the evening, so I have not time to uh, edit it and uh, put it online already, but I will try to put it online as soon as I can. Okay, uh, as usual, if you have any questions, of course, <laughs> please leave them in the comment section below. And uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for all the new subscribers. I uh, currently am on 395, I believe. So yeah, we're getting closer to that 400. Um, thank you. It's, it means a lot to me. I really enjoy making these videos. And it's a really, um, I hope really you like them as well. That is all, basically what I'm always saying. I uh, am open for suggestions. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. And uh, probably I can make a video out of it. But for now, uh, again, thank you for watching. And I hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye-bye.